A few years ago I went to Japan and one of the things that struck me were all the wild bamboos growing on the hillsides around the cities and villages. In particular in Kyoto there's a giant bamboo forest and when I say giant bamboo these are 20 to 30 meter high grasses and you walk down this path and they're on either side and you hear them rustling in the wind and occasionally they'll hit and make this kind of clocking noise. And from that point I knew I wanted to grow my own giant bamboo. Now here in the UK it's quite a challenge because it's, it's wet, it's windy and it's cold. And if you're growing giants, you don't want those three things coming together. But it can be done. There are places in Cornwall that grow giant bamboo and up here in Bath, I've had limited success with growing my own from seed. So I'm gonna show you how I do it and show you the results I've got over four years. First thing you've got to do, of course, is get hold of your seeds. Now you can get them off eBay, where I got mine off Amazon UK ordered from a company called Tropical Seeds, based in Germany. They send them out in this pack. Now for nine pounds, I got four varieties and a bonus variety. And you get about 10 seeds in each pack. These are the Mozo bamboo ones. They're long, thin seeds. Now, on the internet, opinions differ on how best to germinate these. Some say you should soak them in salt water for about 15 minutes just to clean off the outside and then soak them in water for another half an hour. What uh, was suggested to me by Tropical Seeds was to actually soak them in warm water for one to three days. So that's what I did, put them in a little bowl like this. Got um, some warm water, not hot water, and just left them soaking. Now to help them on their way, I bought a, a germinating warming mat, a Bosmere one, from Garden Universal, again through Amazon. This is about 16 pounds, and it has a mains plug on the other end. You just plug this in, it'll raise the temperature about 10 degrees above ambient temperature. You want about 20 degrees for your seed germination. Just play it, placed it on there, covered it with a bit of cling film just to keep the water in. This is not a waterproof mat, so be careful. And leave it for a day and a half. Well, one to three days it says. I've left mine for a day and a half. And then they're ready to go into your germinating medium in a propagator. So we've had the seeds on the heating mat for about one and a half days. I left the labels underneath the little pot so I know what I'm planting. And I'll get the propagator out. Now this has there's a nice big propagator, very tall because your, your plants are going to be giants. You want to keep up the moisture in here and keep the, the heat in. So we're going to keep it on the, on the warming mat, which is nice and snugly warm. Soil's already been heated up for a while. In terms of growing medium, it's suggest to use peat, but stripping peat bog isn't the best thing in the world. So I've got something which hasn't got much peat in, but it's peat-like substitute. And that's mixed with perlite. It's about a 50-50 mix. This is only moist, it's not wet, and we're not gonna plant very deep. So it's just a case of getting your seeds. You can give them a little helping hand if you're getting the right way up. And actually not place them too deep in the soil. You can lie them flat if you want. I've seen this done also on cotton wool. People have just been germinating on cotton wool and had great results. So we plant this up. I'm gonna put the stickers, well, the, the little labels, so I know what's what in each part of the propagator on. And we put the top on. But you've never seen anyone put a propagator top on before. And then about two weeks maybe, we should start seeing some shoots, hopefully sooner, because we've got the warming mat. And then we're on our journey to creating our own little giant bamboo forest. And now for the fruits of our labor. These are two-year-old mozo seedlings. It grows up to about 30 centimeters tall, that one. Some of these smaller ones are looking a bit brown, a bit yellow. I'm not too worried about that, because it's, it's winter. They've been blown by icy winds, they've been covered with snow. Give it a month or so and we should see little columns, little green shoots growing. Now for the pièce de résistance, my four-year-old mozo bamboo, it looked like that two years ago. In fact, it looked pretty sickly two or four years, two years ago. Two years ago. And now for the fruits of our labours. These are two-year-old mozo bamboo seedlings. I've got about eight left out of a batch of 50. You can see the tallest one is about 30 centimetres high. The smaller ones are looking a bit brown, a bit yellow, a bit crispy. Well, that's because it's the end of winter here, it's the end of January. So they've been blown by winter winds and covered in snow at one point. But they're doing alright. Give it a month, we should see little green shoots, little columns growing. 
Now the piece de resistance is my four-year-old bamboo. Two years ago it looked like those small ones, and now look at it, it's a monster. So he's got to be maybe just under a meter tall, green and healthy, and we're expecting big things of this one this year. So you see it is possible to grow giant bamboo here in the UK, and I wish you every success. I hope that I have success with my ones I've, I've just planted. Um, yeah, let me see how you get on. Send me a video response or tell me in the comments. I'd be interested to see how your plants are doing. One of my tips for giant bamboo is to wrap it up in fleece when it gets windy or cold. You can see right at the end of this leaf here, it's starting to get a little bit brown. It'll recover, it'll do fine from that. But keep them out of the wind, keep them protected, and they should do fine.